Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to take that same phrase that we just kind of went over with the first pattern. The double stop in it. And we're going to move that same thing, that same idea, up an octave to our second pattern that we've learned. Here's the thing about this. This is actually a little bit trickier than it looks. Um, you have to get used to a couple of little weird fingerings. Uh, once you get, you know, once you repeat those fingerings and uh, you know do them enough times, it, it'll it'll be just as easy as, as the rest of it so far. So what happens is, if you remember, we started our second phrase, the seventh fret on the D string. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go up that phrase, but I'm going to skip the E flat note this time. So I'm not going to put that flat five in there, and I'm going to go ahead and go to the ninth fret instead, which is E. Now I'm bending the B note at the twelfth fret, not unlike the B note I was originally bending down there at the fourth fret. To get to the C sharp. same run, just an octave higher as the first one we learned, but this one is going to require, or it's easier for me anyway, to use my third, second, and first finger to make this little stretch. So as I go up, and I bend the B note with my third finger, I'm actually not using my first finger now to bend that note, because my first finger has to get back in time to catch that C sharp note. So... kind of an idea. Alright, now I'm not keeping that B bent, I'm just bending it on the first time. So C sharp to B, D back to B, C sharp, hammer to D, back to C sharp. Back to C sharp. So it's hammering that note. Now once I end up on the C sharp note, I'm going to walk back down from the 12th fret on the B string. Chromatically, B, B flat, A. I'm going to grab that G note. Third, or the 12th fret on the 3rd string. Now, I'm going to play the double stop lick that I played before. I'm going to play it right here. Except the chord I'm thinking of, the A chord now, is basically like a D chord shape. And it starts at the 9th fret. So, if you know what a D chord is, and you move it all the way up to the 9th fret, a triad I'm, I'm thinking of. Of course, there's another A there. Once again, it goes back to maybe a chord like that as a reference point. The top two notes of this A triad is my double stop. That's C sharp uh, at the ninth fret with the first finger, and A at the tenth fret on the B string with my second finger. And that gives me my dyad that I'm going to use my double stop with. Now, the same thing kind of follows suit as the first one, except this was a little more challenging because you're going to claw underneath for the double stop with your second and third finger on your right hand. So, my second finger is clawing the uh, second string, and my third finger is grabbing the, the top, the high E. Then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to use my pick, and I'm going to play the G string at the 12th fret, or the G note. So let's go back and look at the line there. Alright, so what I'm going to do is, after I figured out how to claw this, I'm going to come back and I'm going to play the G note at the 12th fret on the G string. To the F sharp note at the 11, to the E note at the 9th. Now here's the thing. 
this is kind of a tricky position because unlike the other one, I can just leave my first finger down the whole time. This one I'm going to have to move my first finger a little bit. So I'm going to play. And the trick to this is, is to leave that second finger on the A note. Just leave it planted right there. walk down my G string, back up, then I'm going to play my double stop again, but notice I have to move my first finger to grab So that completes the whole part of that phrase. Or, you know, you can do the syncopated rhythm there. So that gives you another phrase to play, uh, you know, in the key of A.